Hi everyone, this is ABR Ashwarthi Roila. Um, I wanted to share this poem with you today, which is written for a very special purpose, and that special purpose, my friends, is meeting someone new. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? I know because we all like meeting new people, right? And there's a lot that we go through our mind goes through before meeting someone and by new i'm not saying or i'm not uh, trying to underline here that this person is a complete stranger this person might be a person that you have been talking to over phone or texting through you know uh, there are many mediums through whatsapp messenger whatever but you have never met in person so this is about meeting that happens between two people uh, and they're meeting for the first time <coughs> the poem is written from a girl's point of view of course i mean <laughs> me being a girl so i hope you guys will enjoy it because I, I i'm not saying it is one of my best work but whatever it is there it's it's quite special and quite true and uh, it is something i have written with with a lot of cheesiness inside me <laughs> okay so let's see i hope you guys will relate to it <coughs> meeting someone new in short meeting you <laughs> that crazy anticipation of meeting someone you know but haven't seen building how it will unfold rebuilding it again in my mind on repeat the heartbeat the heartbeat skipped a beat before making the first call thought i might fumble but it didn't happen at all you seemed like a decade old love someone i have known since eternity Imagine my plight, love. I couldn't even express my excitement to anyone in my sight. I would have been tagged as a teenager or maybe too much too soon or maybe too eager. <laughs> my love, you were upset I came so late. But had it been in my hands, I would have shown way before time and would have loved to wait. however coming to what it felt like what you felt like you felt like life itself someone i have longed to see someone who walks talks and giggles just like me i have never been happier holding someone's hand trust me trust me on this one but yours yours felt like they are meant to be in mine your gaze and you know it right it was intriguing me like i wasn't there in front of you but beside you i couldn't hold my glance much longer you you my love you peeled my soul layer by layer and infused them with trust warmth affection and unflinching pampering that feel feel of your tender hands on my burning cheeks followed by just four words you are my baby and the little girl in me shrunk and went off guard just wanting to rest my head on that 4 by 4 square yard you <laughs> you teased the hell out of me and i loved it like a school girl a girl fighting with her coolest oldest buddy over stolen lunches and sketches it's not like there was anything at all visible but you still ha huh, you still zipped up the last one and a half inches of my sweater saying i belong to you and no one else gets to see any of it and me pretending being busy in using phone behaving like it's not affecting me at all like yet blushing hearing you say it imagine all that oasis around us the aura of plain love surrounding us not caring an ounce who is sitting next and you you had me the moment you unloaded my handbag yes yes you started arranging and putting everything where it is supposed to be
guiding me what should be kept where and actually doing it till today that is the most beautiful yet personal thing i have ever experienced i have been doing it but unluckily never been on the receiving end for once someone held my fingers my hands and showed me the way and i like an obedient student blinded by love following every single word you uttered thinking why don't you just sort the shit out of me just like my handbag but wouldn't that be too much to ask coming to the end your thoughts your thoughts kept me awake revisiting every question you popped in every move i made my messed up answers answers that i can now give better like the one where you asked me why did i think i should be meeting you see love i met you because i wanted everything we say and do be based on a reality being a hopeless romantic and a self-proclaimed poet half of my life have been a fantasy fabricating moments in my head to create something magical that people might want to read i wanted it to be different for us i wanted it to be based on a true story thank you so much if you have been listening it till this point that means a lot to me and if you want to watch uh, more videos made by me or performed by me uh, you can go to my youtube channel or my fb page probably you'll find something something pleasant to see or listen to thank you so much